Thank you, Brady. With an agreement on border security unlikely anytime soon in Washington, Governor Abbott says the state of Texas has been left to fend for itself. A surge in border crossings in the last few months has been widely publicized, but what you may not have heard about is the extraordinary lengths Texas law enforcement is going to to combat the problems, illegal crossings, drug and human trafficking. Uh, they're calling it an invasion on our border, and they're ready for war. McLennan County's loaning of one of its Bell Jet Ranger helicopters is just one example of how Texas law enforcement is teaming up to fight the problems along the border. The combined in, uh, effort on the part of all law enforcement down here and uh, everybody has pitched in to help. It's just, it's overwhelming uh, the liaison and the cooperation that we have going on down here on the border. So. That's that's a reason for us being down here. When Texas law enforcement took over Shelby Park and Eagle Pass and shut down illegal crossings there, the illegal activity heated up downstream in Sheriff Ray Del Bosque's area, Zapata County. The people in, in, in Mexico, they already uh, are aware that uh, certain resources are, are being moved to other areas. So, it, you know, their surveillance is uh, sometimes a lot better than ours, so they're moving their people and trying to trying to have them make it across in, in my county. Star Task Force represents collaborative effort, an endeavor involving. Multiple he called for help from the Operation Lone Star Task Force, a group of Texas law enforcement that's banding together to protect the border. Sheriff Roy Boyd of Goliad County came up with the idea. It's made up of DPS troopers, Texas Rangers, Border Patrol agents, Sheriff's Departments from around the state, 28 different agencies. It's funded through Governor Abbott's Operation Lone Star, which now has a $10 billion annual budget. They don't enforce immigration laws, just the criminal activity that comes along with it. I understand that there are people that don't grasp the totality of what we're dealing with because it's not really an immigration issue that we're dealing with. As local law enforcement, we have no authority in immigration. We have no authority in federal law. And so all we're doing is enforcing the state laws that are on the books already. Trade with Mexico is extremely important. Pat Curry is a candidate for the District 56 state reps race and local businessman who's been importing and transporting minerals across the border for the oil and gas and construction industries for two decades. He has a working relationship with elected officials and law enforcement on both sides of the border and is here in part to coordinate and facilitate the efforts to stem illegal activity and protect trade. The U.S. government controls the immigration into our country. Texas is being overrun because the U.S. government's not doing its job. We need to finish the wall, put the barrier down the river, provide the support on the border to keep anybody from crossing, and then we need to, to open and properly staff the 26 points of entry along the, the U.S. border to allow people to come in legally. Have them stand in line. So you, you can't, you, get, you have to end catch and release. And all of that is obvious from both sides of the river. Keep in mind that this is an election year, and many of those involved in the Operation Lone Star Task Force are seeking election or re-election, including Curry and McLennan County Sheriff McNamara. And whether this is political grandstanding or not, the results speak for themselves. I don't have the final numbers, but Border Patrol has told us that it is the most successful operation that they've ever been a part of in Zapata County. Uh, I do know that during that operation, the task force was able to seize 127 pounds of marijuana, uh, over $200,000 in cash that was headed south, and made a lot of arrests and detained a lot of people. And that's just in one week. The task force won't be working full time on the border, but they recognize the importance of being ready when they're needed. This is not just a border problem. Uh, these immigrants that are coming across, gang members, criminals of all kinds, are working their way up into our counties and uh, the entire state is under siege basically. And until something is done to secure the border in Washington, the Operation Lone Star Task Force is willing to step up. Right now it's a great feeling uh, that we're not alone here in the fight on the border and uh, taking care of the, the great state of Texas and also uh, 
America, the great USA. And we never turn anybody down if we can possibly help them. And so we're going to be down here every time that they need us to come down. You can count on that. Since this is an election year, we reached out to Curry and McNamara's Republican primary opponents for comment on this story. Pat Curry's opponent, Debbie Duke, said in part, we can all agree that we need to finish the wall and continue to install various barriers to stop the flow of illegal aliens coming across our border from 165 different countries. However, I disagree that we should channel people to the 26 points of entry. We need to shut the country down until we get a handle on it. There's nothing humanitarian about leaving leaving open entry ports that will encourage women and children to subject themselves to rape and abuse trying to get to our border." End quote. Jeff Aguirre, who is running for sheriff, said the members of the Operation Lone Star Task Force are taking actions into their own hands, which is needed if the U.S. government will not help us. I feel it's our duty as law enforcement, Texans and Americans, to see a system that is broken and rally to correct the problem. He adds that he hopes to see McLennan County Sheriff's Office as a member of the task force in the future.